So our next speaker is Josh Folk. Josh? So thank you. So I'm going to start by putting my work in the context of uh, a broader condensed matter. Um, with the basic physics of solids figured out over the last century, uh, and what many groups are able to do nowadays is find a few special materials where the electronic state is much more exotic than you might expect from some basic picture. So uh, here's two examples. First one is strontium ruthenate, uh, which is a superconductor, but one where the excitations out of the superconducting ground state are apparently these uh, mythical particles called myron or fermions that many of you have probably heard of. The second one is a germanium, sorry, a cesium compound, um, which is a metal like copper, uh, but unlike copper where the charge carriers are electrons, here the electrons become so tightly entangled with their neighbors and with the lattice underneath that they disappear as being meaningful uh, charge carriers and something new and at this point poorly understood emerges and it's called at this point a strange metal because people don't really understand it. Uh, so this materials-based approach is a powerful one for discovering new phenomena and trying to understand them. Uh, but there's always the challenge of sort of what chemistry and clever cooking can make for you in terms of new materials. So um, my group takes a different approach. Uh, it's often possible to build electronic circuits where these same kinds of exotic quantum states appear in these circuits. And because they're in a circuit that you built, then you have often more control and much more access to the state to really study it carefully. So here I'm showing you two examples. Uh, this one is a circuit we built out of a 2D material. It's a, it's a superconductor, 2D superconductor. Um, we've also made uh, circuits like this with twisted bilayer graphene. Some of you have probably heard of, you take two sheets of graphene and you twist between them and you get something completely new and poorly understood uh, out of this. Um, and because we're working with these 2D materials, you have the third dimension to, to reach in, to get access, and to really poke and probe and understand what this quantum state is. This circuit down here is built in a totally conventional semiconductor. This is gallium arsenide. And by changing the arrangements of these gates, these are the light colored regions here, the arrangements and the voltages applied to these gates, we can create an entanglement between a little electron in here and this sea of electrons. So that entangled state is by itself interesting. If we make one more of these regions, so we entangle this little guy with one, two more regions, it's something called the two channel condo effect, where apparently the uh, particles are similar myron or fermions to what you see in strontium ruthenate. If you're interested in uh, learning about what we do, uh, quantum electronics, then please come talk to mm -hmm. me.